everybody. My name is Vanessa. If you don't know who I am, a chance call for those that struggle. So I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys a quick update for July. I told you guys that July is going to be a month of blessings, opportunities, and connections. And that we need to have discernment on who is being brought into our life and to know what is coming from God and what isn't. So I have been applying for jobs and I had a few people reach out to me. One job in particular, I seen it online. I thought, you know what, this is a job that's probably out of my league. Like, I don't really have the credentials for it. Um, they said online to go ahead and come in for a application. Well, I didn't want to go in for an application because I didn't want to waste my time and them tell me, like, not even give me an interview. So I just submitted my resume. Well, the company reached out to me through email and said, if you want to um, fill out an application, I'm going to send you the application and the email. You can fill it out and you can just email it back. So that's what I did. I was like, okay, that's awesome. That's a lot easier than going up there, wasting gas, you know, wasting time. And they reached out to me. So I went ahead and filled it out. And within a few days, they contacted me for an interview. Um, in the meantime, I had other people trying to get me for an interview as well. I had thought about it and I'm just like, you know what, honestly, the drive, the pay was very low. Um, uh, so I just decided to go ahead and cancel one of the interviews. And I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with, um, this one that has re that reached out to me first that I do want that is higher pay. And I'm just kind of throwing it out there and, so just before my interview, um, which was yesterday, I did, I woke up in the early in the morning. I went to go grab my Bible. I'd been praying about this and just asking God, you know, if this is your will, let it be done. But I went to go grab my Bible. And as soon as I did, I had a piece of paper that fell um, from my shelf and it actually went inside my nightgown. And so it was stuck, it was stuck on the inside of my nightgown. So I grabbed the paper. I had no idea what it was. And it said revelations on it. I had wrote revelations on it. And I said, okay, well, I want to go ahead and see what I'm just going to open up to revelations and see what I, you know, what God has for me. And so I opened up to revelations and it spoke of the title of it was, um, the pure river of life. And River is actually part of the name of the company that I have an interview with. And so I read it and it was just, you know, scripture was saying, I believe it was in chapter 22, um, somewhere it was saying how just stay in the word of God, stick with the book and all things will come to pass. So I had a lot of doubt coming to me. I had the enemy attacking me in my mind, like, you know, I've been wanting a good job opportunity. I've been want, needing financial stability. And I had the, you know, my mind, the enemy was attacking me in my mind saying it's not going to happen. I was trying to, you know, having doubt come in. And so I was listening to a Charles Stanley 24-7 um, radio the night before the um, interview. And he was saying, just like scripture says, like, when we doubt, we do not we are not worthy of anything. So we are not, we are not allowed to doubt. We are not allowed to um, look back at the past, but we are moving forward. This is new wine and new wine skins. So I told you guys a few months ago that I had a vision dream of um, a circular timeline that we are not on a linear timeline, but we are on a circular timeline. And on this timeline, there were ordained God ordained, God ordained circumstances that were marked and it was like a clock and I was on the very last, very last, um, ordained circumstance, which represented my driver's license. So I received my driver's license and this cycle of ordained things that God has, has been completed. So I am now in a new cycle, um, new beginnings. And so, yes, I went to the interview yesterday morning and um, the very first thing I heard was I spoke to the CEO. He was like very impressed with the way that I dressed. Um, the supervisor was as well. 
we discussed the job and I did have to study for this job. I had to um, look up um, information and have knowledge on the state of Illinois. And so in the end, I was um, offered a job opportunity um, on the spot and the supervisor was very um, surprised that he even did that because it was the first time ever in 22 years of him working there that he's offered a job on the spot. This job is um, the highest pay that I've ever gotten and it is something that fits greatly for my personality and something that I would never even have expected. Um, and this could very well be like a retirement job. Like it's not extremely high pay, but it's as high as that I've ever had. It's not a labor physical job. I will be um, handing out books and talking to um, visitors and the company takes us on trips once or twice a year. And it sounds like a great opportunity for me. And the last two jobs that I had, I wasn't understanding why God put me in them. But I can see now that he was preparing me for where I am now. Okay? So, God will, will ordain your footsteps. He will go before you and he will make a way. Even if you don't have the credentials for the job, you will receive favor. Where he wants you, you will get to. What you think is impossible is possible with Christ, okay? Um, so I just wanted to share this testimony with you. Um, I was just so, so overjoyed yesterday. And I actually did a video yesterday that I was going to post to you guys, but I needed to correct um, one of the things that I said, because I had said that I had to look up, you know, learn the laws, the laws of Illinois, but it's not the laws of Illinois. I had to just learn just have knowledge of Illinois for the job. But, um, yes, yeah, so July is blessings, opportunities, elevation, um, connections. You have to have discernment in who's coming in your life and what you're actually doing and not let the enemy defeat you. If you think something's too good to be true, well, let me tell you anything is possible with Christ. I am hoping to come on here very soon with another update of a testimony, but I will save that for now. I hope this is this is encouraging to you guys. This is this has given me just like just more hope and just just seeing God and seeing how He works is amazing. I love you all. God bless you, and I'll talk to you later.